Hey YouTube, this is Jeff, AMR Whiskey 34, and I got a little video showing one of these stubs. This is the same stub I built three years ago, and uh, we were using them for field day this year, a week ago, and I just had a little bit of uh, a background on it. The uh, We were operating in our EOC at the county EMA office, uh, Class F. And I had the stub on our 20 meter station. We had a 40 meter station going. And that was the only filter was in use. Was just uh, We didn't have a filter on the 40 meter station. And I should have uh, went back and swapped it and put one on the other 40 meter station and maybe not the 15 or not the 20 to uh, see how it worked. But there was only one filter in use on the 20 meter station. And this short video shows you how effective it was. Okay, this is a follow-up to the the MCOM field day uh, coax stubs. This is a field day 2018. We have a 40 meter station on CW, and we're on 20 meters. So this is the second harmonic, and this is our CW station interfering with our 20 meter station. And it looks like the display is pretty washed out from the light, but that's about S7 or S8 uh, hash. There we go. And I'll insert the stub filter. I'll wait until he's transmitting again. Plug the stub filter in, and it's gone. And I uh, can also go back to the switch where we'll, we can pass a 40 meter signal. There's set on pass. Okay, there's the, there's the noise. Takes it out. Flip the switch, it's gone. So. This is the first time I've been able to demonstrate in a multi-transmitter environment that they do actually work.